there. We already cleared out all that other stuff. I'm just gonna make it quick. Need to hit another one back here. We don't have to try any particularly severe hops. one here okay cool yeah I think we're pretty well covered for everything back here up there I'm look like it scope the market so the elevator I guess we could check inside that other house the green one We're directly back it's fine Easy street in it. Oh. Cool. On the off chance they tucked one in here, and if not, that'll be the end of that search. Also, we might want to try and keep an eye out for hidden exit. Okay. Making sure. All right, let's go outside. Like out outside. Oh, CCC means Center City Sino. What's, what's okay? What's Dreamfield? Turn by the menu. What is this? Oh, hi, I'm Marshall Kitoni. I am far more reasonable than that muffhead doing the menu for narrations back in New Zealand. The story in here, keeping track of the creation of New Zealand. Um, so, welcome to one of the unzones. Sure, let's go with that term. I've got an attorney living in the uh, living in these unzones. Better make the most of it, right? Sigh. Well, you can use the menu to return to New Zealand. A uh, mystery person asked wanted me to tell you that none of the unzones are canon. And there's nothing to find. Wish you could find love. Ah, there I go again. Right, an unzone is a place transcending New Zealand. It was, deemed worthy, it was not deemed worthy by the two mystery persons to MS the devs. Or that is, there are two creation myths, one which says the center created New Zealand, which is the canon, and the other where MS did it, which is meta. Ooh, contextualize him. Okay. Cool. Nothing here, you say. Just a floaty spark. Okay. So there's just stuff. Oh, cool. Concept art. All right. Huh. Sneaky photo. And weird floating water. This is an architectural sketch by S. It was one of the inspirations for M's car wash in Blue Vale. The white field around it was used during the creation of Ride Scale. I hear it was a drag to make. Not really out there, but you can head to the green area to see more. The picture faces from when S was under a curse. We'll just ignore it. It was used during the creation of very advanced water tech. Ah. Cool. Yeah, this is kind of like the car wash, isn't it? I love that they left this in here. Well, it, it, it reminds me of uh, even the ocean had the uh, 
dev area at like the beta version of the game tucked in there too, so. Green area, I guess. We got some ramps. I'm curious if any of these prototypes might tell me how to get to certain things later, if, even if there's nothing to quote unquote find here. Went to New Zealand was planned to have all the man all manners of temples and dungeons. This is an exterior that S made. Such plans were too expensive, so the dungeons were dropped entirely. Turn around, that structure was meant to be a strange hill. Move a little to the left in the elevator structure in the distance, a prototype of Jess Village. Yeah, okay, I can see that. The thing we just climbed. <clears throat> Creature designs. Hi. I love it. This is really neat. A feeling these mountains aren't particularly explorable. We're gonna try. Kind of eerie not having music here, but I, I guess it makes. I guess the dungeons were essentially replaced by the. Uh, the nanoscale areas. Maybe they're being honest with them. nothing to find. There might be something for like talking to all the exclamation points though. Going on here? Oh, the bad stairs. There it is. There it is. Stairs failure. Cool house. Three on top. Think a light interaction with that one wall there. They got the real early PlayStation platformer feel going on here. Ooh, actually. The whole area you can see from this vista was an early prototype with the blue veil that estimated to get the right sense of scale. Well, okay. Sounds it's kind of like the doctor's house. Nova egg, blah, blah, blah. Another area estimated. Perhaps someone lived at the top. These types of places would prove too expensive to make if only one nano point would be in it. Alas, it was doomed to the, uh, this unzone. S quite likes the coziness and sense of climbing you get from it. Let's climb. Yeah, this is, this is a big ass building that I really can't see much of because camera clipping. Yeah, we'll go to the top and see what the next uh, vista is. Even like measurement text on the top there. All right. What else going on? Not really. Okay. Put around the side here. This would be pretty much it. Introductory bit, right? Hills and stuff. See how far out this goes. Well, that's cool. Can't stay here all night, though. I'm curious what happens when you go off the edge. Huh. 
Okay, well, we're going to warp back. I can find the menu. Uh, oh, hey, more stuff. This is as more on zones. Cool. Okay. All right, we'll check out another one a little bit. Actually, yeah, we might as well just keep going. We got a bunch of yeah. Check out what we can. We go outside for more coins. That way I can get all the as many many unzones as possible tucked into one uh dash here. The episodes seem to tend to run about half an hour. Oh for this one. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we got the one near the elevator. Okay. This was the first prototype area that S made. Actually, used to have this gaudy orange ground texture. Behind you were some buildings used for testing the scale out the scale of, out the scale of architecture. In the distance was a mountain. On top was another tiny house that said Young's Mountain Vacation Home or something. Also, S tested out this ball shooting gameplay in 3D where you were able to fire spheres at targets. Um, fine. Okay, that's the scale thing. There. I can't drive over to the other scale thing. Yeah, I'm not sure if this was their first venture into 3D, but it's been just the learning process and everything. Turn. I don't think it told me it was uh, in the other menu because I would not have found it otherwise. City of Origin. Uh, okay, okay, that's uh, dust gubbins here. Welcome to S's earliest prototype of Sino. It's a cylindrical cave in which sectors of the city are split up into height levels. S still really likes it and thinks it might have been faster to make, but it does feel far smaller than the final Sino. Here's the governmental area, which has the elevator and entrance to the center sanctuary. Okay. For the outer road in Sino, there was this lowered road that wrapped around the city. You could use this to access the sectors of the city, the residential areas, and the like plan. I we saw one up here in the green. This area was supposed to be a little garden or restaurant plaza. I've seen the sketches and they are cute. Perhaps I could have enjoyed pizza in New Zealand. Get yourself a pan pizza. I love that Dev is like this open about like all the process and whatnot. That looks like it for here, so back again. Well, 
what's this? Whenever I feel sad, I come here to feel empty. Ugh, that was dark. Um, this is the second version of Cena. This be this based on M's car concept art. There isn't much here, but you can feel the general structure. I'm fond of the central roundabout thing that was going to lead to Center Sanctuary. Okay. Can't climb up here, but this was presumably a project for some kind of building climbing challenge. Like they just kind of the optical illusion of the stripes in the center column while moving. Made it didn't feel like it was like spinning. Ooh, that was cool. Those little arms. Apparently, MS had trouble figuring out how to make the elevator work. Eventually, they just decided to make only an, eleva only make an elevator platform and not even sweat the details of it going to Center Sanctuary. Easy. That's what you gotta do sometimes, you just gotta close it. And then totally miss the ramp out. I guess this is before they came up with the Center Road thing, but maybe they were still working on the drive mode. That's where the alleys are? Because, yeah, they said they. In the info block that they uh, widen these out. Makes sense. Well, I feel like I'm tired. I mean, besides it being a relatively long day. I don't spend too much time here, but. Doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Columns and the like. I don't see any more informational gubbins. All right. I think that was all we had. Yeah. All right. So get outside. Get some more coins. I feel like we might want to focus on getting the non-meta stuff for a bit. to see if I could stand on top of one of these info things. Oop. Not so easily. Alright. Go out outside. What's going on? There we go. That's how you make an elevator work. Alright. Um. Aha! Don't forget, we gotta go back to the tree area too, and uh, it's in the pond in the woods. Wait, is the right way to go? Oh, there is no wrong way. With the dual exit roadway, we've encouraged exploration through all the directions of New, New Zealand. Wander freely. Except those side areas are invisible walled off. Okay. Car wash is gonna definitely gonna have some fun spots. Hey, there is something under this bridge after all. Remember last time when I was running around under there looking for stuff? There's the stuff. It just wasn't there yet. Can I afford that log? It's only three. The meta clean framework, thank you. Have a meta day. <laughs> Philopia tendon twine. In the mirror, I can see a felled wimple tree, skin peeling like a drop dog, a temper coronary. Bicalutamide tricks and porridge twigs. Snap the marketing research into delectable crisplings. What if the tour report comes too soon? Comes too soon. What if they lay lines and have my tremor? D, D, they just made this so I couldn't read it. <laughs> D 
The instantiating everything long gone from my eyesight. The culling of frustrum, the sheep from the flock. The sick and the old reduced to cracklings. Copy me, paste me, redirect my tween frames into forbidden distinction and ruin my animation in the hidden secret moments stolen from the gods. Yeah, it was beautiful tonight, like damn drops of dungarees and small white rabbits huddled in the crook of a root. Why do gates deteriorate uh, many years after the pies have all fallen off the windowsills and the golden hours faded from your teeth? The bits of poop with piles of autumn leaves will always leave a mark. <laughs> Why is there a power line shut between your molars, freeing you from bits of plaque and celery tendons? Globating masses are ready at the small French hen with a sheen of microwavery goodness. Won't a good child dispel that magic? Remove those ripples from the realm of space until all the meat is raw once more. Back in the days when we spent all of our time chewing. Please be gracious, please be kind. When you meet the small disgraced villain, the empty slobbering mess, take pity on the poor soul. The poor, pure evil, tattered and frayed. It was a girl, confused. She doesn't know anything. She's bound to fate. She likes to eat creme, creme brulee. She wishes that her love for stuffed animals was sure. She regrets if she was ever happy, but it is okay for now. Uh, she lingers. Nothing is ever enough. Okay, so we got one veil thing. I guess if we, like, back in, back out again. Or, yeah, if we draw, or if we draw through another warp, that should trigger the next one. So... So, uh, I figure we just jump off of you? Yeah. We're gonna check the outside of the building. There's a lot of jumpable territory there. Did he talk to you? No. Oh no, but it's you. The medically family could be in a business. Hint sales are down across the board. No use for an old hint line specialist like me. Oh, okay. Now, now your map shows you missing cards. What's the fun in that? I bet Metashop even... I bet Metashop sells some lousy, lousy old card detector something, too. Alright, actually, yeah, we should check them out. I guess the C's are cards. And life bits. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. That's all the outer sandy areas, though. Like, we did good for the blue veil. Is that, like, a face? Kind of. Entrance to the arrows side here. The inner area, I mean, where the uh, chargeable gubbin was. Yeah, right there. I feel like they would have thrown one up there. Or not. Okay. I have seven. I want to get that shareholder veil B. Look to see if there are any coins under the canopies. Doesn't look. Oh, yeah, they're too low. Okay. Oh, Christmas. Look, there's some in the pit. Climb back out. I don't think... I don't see any on the building, so we don't have to, like, do the hop through the dream and back again, which is good, because that would take a while. I'll have to dream the nanospace. Hold me. i go back up. Alright, that should give me Veil B. Handled the terrain surprisingly well. Okay. On the plus side, that means I've been thorough about the cards out here, too. There's none popping up on the detector.
that should speed up future uh, progress as well since I won't be looking for as much stuff. Ideally. Oh, that's right. Okay, we just draw. Oh, that's right. We have to get up here and then drop down to get back to that house. So that's fine. That's easy. There's some outside that other house, okay. What we're going to do is drive out and back in again. See if this was the Veil B that got activated. I guess I haven't been back to the statue area yet. Okay, this takes... Oh, that's right, this was the one... That was the exit covered in sand before. Okay. Cool. Alright. Uh, so let's find our way to the house drop. But yeah, if we unlock the info tabs... Yeah, let's... Okay, let's, let's, that looks like what we did. Alright. The house... I drop down again for an info kiosk check, but shouldn't take too long. I feel like the one with the doctor would be A, but I don't know if that's just because that's the direction I picked the first time or what. Interact with this any differently? Nope. The way that seam is, it makes it look like there's something back there, but I think it's just a slight gap in the model or whatever. Yeah, we saw the we saw the exclamation point over on the other side of the town there. It looks like we've been pretty thorough on cards aside from the ones on the highway. Doesn't this strange village, village immediately grab your interest? Provide a mental design such as these enables us to spark our storytelling by creating a level shape that we combine with narrative themes such as arrogance and overwork. The two, writing a level, work hand in hand to produce the nano point you explored. Yeah, you could probably just look down from the edge to see if there's another exclamation point here. I want to see if there's just one on the other side of the. Uh... Looks like we're good. Okay. Yeah. Alright, yeah, let's drive back through the uh, car wash to see if anything new popped up back there. Oh, hey, I missed some coins. Didn't look up. That's that's my curse as a gamer. Do not look up. Uh -huh. okay. Boink. Car wash or playground? Yes. Our designers consider the duality of the space. One, that, once again here, this car wash is both an area that acts as a gateway to the Jess Village area as well as a structure you can climb around and explore. We call this the delight of the 3D model. You know, simply a simple structure can also become something one may explore. Alright, well let's get up top there, get those coins on the other side. You sneaky muckers. And then I think we'll go back to the highway. Not to the sand side, but to the other side where the, there were still some more coins to pick up. Okay, let's stay with those. Is there anything else we can buy?
Well, I'll we'll, we'll do these and I'll see where it uh throws me. We got double the areas anticipated. Really familiar, eh? I don't really know why, when or why M decided to move on to the final version, but this is the old, this old version with the rough areas of c is here for you to explore. As you can see, the central elevator and parks were still yet to be roughed out. There are pillar supports running from the ground to the ceiling, too, which were removed, and even various structures built over the road. By the way, there are no other meta info points here. Okay, cool. And like I said, they see, I love that. That drawing is amazing. That's probably the one. There's a point. Yeah. Something, some white building. Oh yeah, there's the shop. Actually, I wonder. There's the auger and children. I don't know if there'd be a clue as to how to get those two coins in there, but I guess not. Yeah, we'll just take a cruise. That's the roofs of the uh, construction area before they aged it in. Cool. I like it. Alright. Uh... Okay, it drops me where I entered the area. That's fine. I don't know what I was hoping, honestly. Alright, meta clean. Uh, the, the way it spawns. Oh, I like the orchid people better than the dolphin people, I'm not gonna lie. Those are cool. These little orchids are one of the first people that I'm created. Personally, I think they're very cute. They are. We ought to make dolls. I would buy one. Not on this paycheck, though. Sigh. Enjoy really the cute. Alright, so... Orca people. Most of the end zone is when M was crafting the initial visual style of New Thielen. You'll find various visual tests and models that never made it to New Thielen. I love the egg bushes and red grass. I like the like the light gem there. Okay. That might have been an idea for the back sense. We don't know the origin of this. Nova went through a few iterations, so at some point there was an old version of M left, old version M left around, and the old copy structure got all messed up. It says this is the true incarnation of the center. S is lying. Like big Nova, uh, <laughs> yeah, just a model corruption or something. That's great. Legos and bumpiness and egg and amethyst peanut butter cup. Screws around the outside. There we go. Little textures clip in a bit. That's fine. Do -do -do -do. I feel like I'm spoiling a lot, check out all of this, whatever. These two textures, structures are one of S's early architecture tests in making small, sort of fun structures to explore. They turned into that draft version M made over there. The orcas in M's version are to test the scale of the structure. Fair enough. Oh, that's where, uh, Boat Shoes lives, okay. On your Boat Shoes. A couple off in the distance there. Oh, and then that's definitely yeah, an extension of Jessville. Ooh. Right, so what's going on over here? I'll head back towards the Jess, Jess Village one because it's easy to recognize. Tube. Mystery pole. Mystery pole. It's a mystery and it's a pole. Like my new song. 
Well, actually, doesn't do anything. I just thought a song might make these more fun. Mr. Repo! It looks like there's something down there, but I don't want to drop down without uh, checking out the rest first. Oh. Welcome to the corner. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's like the center, but or, I like to come here sometimes and stare into the distance. Read that one. Okay. Let's see what they were saying about the orcas being the test. Yeah. Can I get up here? Okay, yeah, I like the clear walkway. How's it going? I like this delightfully needless arch. Oh, I also love that you can see the messed up model all the way out here. That's great. Uh... Did we really? We didn't really look at Glow Egg. We saw the art for it, but we didn't look at Glow Egg. Feel okay inside. Try. Alright. Egg. Orb. Fence. Plant stuff. Look at that kind of barnacle vent looking thing. Alright, yeah, let's go see if we can actually land on that thing below. I doubt there's anything there, but... That's gonna be a big no. Okay. Uh, 